Hey guys, it's Carl Coffee here and we're back in Final Fantasy 15 and in this video I'm going to be telling you about the Colosseum that is in Altitia. So as you can see at the top right of Altitia, there's going to be this purple stream that you can go down via this gondola right here. So to get here you have to use the first gondola which is the yellow uh, wire on the map. Use that to go to the top of the map, find the other gondola and go down to the bottom right of the map. It's a little bit difficult but I'm sure you'll figure it out. So when you do this, you're going to see this gondola that will take you into the Colosseum. Now when you first arrive here, there's going to be a small cutscene just explaining what this place is and what to do. But when you get into it, you're going to see this menu. You're going to see Wager, Prizes, Medals and Leave. So the first thing you want to do is go to Medals. So the way this works is we purchase medals and we gamble the medals. So it is 10 gil for one medal. So if you do the math, you can buy however many you want. Unfortunately, we do not get our money back once we purchase the medal, so be careful with your gambling. Um, just, it's fairly simple. You can only ever bet 9,999 at any one time. So once you make like 30,000 or so, you can pretty much gamble 9,999 every single time. If you lose, you'll probably get it back on the next one once you've figured out the method. So when we get to prizes, you're going to see there's a fairly big list of things that we can get. Some of them are quite pricey. For example, the top one is 3.6 mil, then there's a 2 mil, or a 1 mil, sorry. And then it gets to like the 400,000s, and then it goes down and down and down. But there's a lot of stuff here, and some of them in question are fairly good. For example, the top one you've seen there was uh, a new engine for the Regalia that negates fuel. Uh, we've got a decal. We've got some color schemes, we've got caviar, which I'm pretty sure is involved in a quest, probably used for a good recipe as well. There's these two weapons, the gun and the spear, the polearm. Uh, I think they're two of the best in the game, apart from the upgradable ones and the ones that you will get from a dungeon. So they're definitely a good purchase as well. But the main thing that I wanted to talk about from the Colosseum is these two. This is the best reel that you will find in the game, as far as I know, at least to this point. It has a 330 attack, which is 60 more than the last one I did in the last video. So this is definitely something that you should probably work towards if you're struggling with your fishing, or if you're trying to just catch every fish that there is going. Also, they have this new lure, which is a pretty big lure. It's quite a deep and heavy one, so it will probably catch you a few good ones. And they're both relatively cheap, can considering how easy it is to gamble your money. And then we have the Curl Whiskers and the Garula Tusk, which I believe are involved in a quest as well. So that's all your prizes. So if you want to see more details on them, just pause the video and then read the description and you'll be fine, or ask me a question. Now if you go straight into the wager option, you're going to see this menu, and it's going to have a list of monsters that are going to be fighting. It's going to have their odds and their condition. So every time you come to this part, or every time you win or lose, and then you go back into Wager, it's going to be a different set of monsters under different conditions and stuff. So take a look at the odds, and then take a look at the condition. The more light blue that you see, the more light blue bars, the better condition there are. So choose wisely. Also take a note of their level. And it is a gamble, so like I said, just do what you can to narrow the odds, and then just pick something you think will win. Once you click on the one that you want, you can then bet your tokens, and again, you can only bet up to 9999, so just bet whatever you want, whatever you're happy with. If you're confident, then you can jump straight into it. But the last thing I want to say about this is that you get these ho horns that are called Gridanas, and they basically enhance the fight. So there's a, a vendor just outside the Colosseum area that you can buy several different horns. So the horns are... They have different effects. One of them can boost your monster's defense, it can boost the monster's strength, and there's a few other ones, but the one that you get to start off with is the health. So you always get this one to start off with, I believe. So what this does is, after like a minute in the fight or so, it's going to come up and ask you to rapidly press B, or circle. And once you do this, it will basically give your monster a little bit extra health, just to give him that edge on the battle. Because some of them, there's quite a lot of enemies in there, and you want him to survive as long as possible. So just make sure when you're doing this, you keep an eye on the fight itself. And you can rotate through all your different horns and use whichever one you want. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, if it helped at all, just make sure you leave a like down below. And also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this. Because I think this is great. I think there's quite a few many games in this uh, it's an entire game and this is definitely one of my favorites but until then I'll see you next time